Hi guys, it's Steve back with you. Um, been a few weeks, I'm sorry about that. Still having issues sorting out the internet. Today we're going to have a look at joining these 3D prints together. When you have a print that's all sliced into pieces, you have to get it all back together and fill all the gaps in, tidy it up. So we'll get to the table and crack on. Right, I've got a multi part print here. Um, you have a choice when you do 3D printer to use a lot of supports or to sometimes just cut the model down and use multi parts and then put it together afterwards. The first thing to do once it's printing off the bed is have a quick look around for any wisps and I guarantee you won't find them all. So anything you really see, you got little wisps in between things, take them out. Have a quick look around for anything huge, little lips, anything on the edge. Good. Anything on the surfaces that are going to stick, that's lumps. Right, so once you've done that, have a look at how this goes together. So that one will go onto that one. So the best thing to do is put it together. Check it out. Some of them can be a pain that they only go one way, even though they look exactly the same. So the easy way to do it, just put a little mark on it. West. However this goes you're going to end up with a slight gap. So I want it to match up to. So that's that one. Now they go together. I'm going to do a super glue out. I found the cheap one pound store super glue is actually the best stuff. More expensive stuff takes longer to dry and slides about everywhere. But it does give you the downside of when you put it together, you've got to get it together right first time. Or very quickly, let's put it that way. So, oh, dropping everything everywhere. Let's line up your marks. Unwanted. So that was set. On there, we've got a gap around here which we sort out. So the next one, Get your marks. Try not to stick your fingers together. Little gap here. Let that dry. Right, just check these are clean. This is the head. Let's see a couple of bits there, I don't mind getting off quick because I won't get it easy. There you go, just do the fingernail. Give it a push, hold it. There, put the lid on. So this one goes that way, I suspect. Yep, so let that dry. Let that have a good dry before you start playing with it, otherwise, it'll fall to pieces in your hands. So, the next stage, what we're going to have to do is look at these joins around here. Choice of the way, the really deep ones we could do with a bit. Put a little bit of green stuff in it. Shallow ones would just go over with a varnish to seal them in, to cover up the joints and smooth them out. And then we can hit it with a bit of sandpaper in places to tidy it up. So without that drying, I'll be back with you. Right, just check some liquid green stuff out on a piece of card. You can have a look at the larger cracks. This stuff is absolutely horrible to work with. So we'll just get it roughly in the right place and then we'll work over it in a minute. We'll just get a knife. Just smooth it out a bit. 
worry about it being perfect, it's just getting that in. So you should be looking at it and going, what have I done? It looks like a complete mess after all that printing. Don't worry about it. So that's the big join, maybe a little bit more in under here. Just to fine tune the printer, that's something I'm working on at the moment. But there you go, I'll let that dry and we'll come back in a minute. Right, what I'm going to do now is just grab that sandpaper and just take off some dips. Let's come down a bit. I'll grab some satin varnish, the thing's donkey's years old. So, all we do is where there's a joint, is that I'm going to give it a coat of varnish. A wide coat, so all this will do is just smooth it out for you. You can also use this as a way to get rid of any of the print lines on some stuff. <laughs> when you get a print line, and you know it's better, you can just actually give it a light coat of varnish before you prime it. So that goes around there. camera and I'm happy with that so I'll leave that to dry up before we give it a coat of black. Right I primed them up black and um, you see around the edge here where I've done where the varnish went and sealed up. Now uh, if you find bits that are still a little bit deep you know I just put another little bit of varnish over the top let it dry and give it another coat of black before you do your main coat. Um, overall I'm very happy with that. I think when it paints up it'll work quite well. This being like a mushroom like monster it's actually very very forgiving the grain of the print actually helps the drawings actually work because of the nature of plants and we will cut on paint this and I'll put a picture up at the end when he's all done right there you have it that's the method I use for um, sealing up prints to cover up the drawings I use it on some of the plastic kits as well as I mentioned if you've got ones that are painted and you paint longer, oh no, I've just found a gap, the paint's only disappears down all in the bottle. We'll put some varnish over it, let it set, a little line of black or your base primer, let it dry and then continue painting as normal. Nice, easy, quick way around that. Um, should also give a shout out to Black Scroll Games. These are their kit, one of their killer mushrooms, great prints, I'm working on the others. Um, please go support them. They started a patron now for releasing figure I can't remember how often it was but you basically as a patron you get the file for these figures so that's something I've got to sort out because to be honest I love their stuff and hopefully I'll be back with you a bit quicker than I have been but I'm still struggling with the internet so this will probably take me a day to upload so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up please like share subscribe get it out there I apologize about a few camera issues in the film um, I'm looking at maybe changing some of the kit around to make it stuff stay more in camera give me a bit more working area but not look like I'm filming it from outside the house or something silly right okay you take care and I'll see you all soon cheers bye